Hello guys, it's me Sutra aka Primal Yogi. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm really excited because we're going into the winter season, which means it is roast season. With a cow, there's a bunch of different roasts. There's steak cuts and then there's big roasts. And with roasts, you really want to put in some work into them because usually a roast is part of the working muscle of a cow, which means it's going to be super just like a lot of toughness possibly and you really want to tenderize it but it's worth it because it's a working muscle there's a lot of blood flow into that area of the cow which means a lot of flavor and complexity all right so this beef right here this cut is a chuck roast and it is grass-fed finished and regenerative from a local ranch. So when it's grass fed and finished, it means it's fed grass its entire life. So just like we humans want to focus on ancestral eating, we also want the animal that we are consuming to be eating its own ancestral diet. So for cows or ruminant animals, that is grass. So this is going to be grass fed and finished. It's also from a regenerative ranch. And when it's a regenerative ranch, it means that the animals are coexisting in a way that's also also part of their ancestral way and it's also healing the earth so really good for the soil really good for the animal it has plenty of room to graze and it's not in a feedlot or crowded there's some grass-fed beef that is still crowded and not the really the best lifestyle for a cow so this is regenerative so it's gonna be a really high quality cut of meat even the little bit more fatty or cartilagey parts are gonna be great to consume but we also do want to slow cook it so I got the crock pot right here and honestly, I just picked this one up at Target. It was $20. And speaking of just being affordable or budgetable, Chuck Roast is going to be one of the most budgetable cuts that are versatile as well if you want to do some steaks or want to do some slow cooking, but also really really good flavor. This baby is about like six and a half pounds. So it's a big guy. And I'm actually not going to be using the entire thing right now to slow cook because I want to make a bunch of different things. You can use a chuck roast kind of like a steak, but you can also slow cook it and it comes out amazing. So my technique, I got this frozen actually, and it's pretty much thawed out on the outside. So what I do is just let the outside thaw and I'm going to cut up all of the outsides placed into the crock pot and I have some amazing herbs all picked from gardens and I'm gonna layer that in there and pretty much the only spice or adding thing that I'm putting on there is salt. So I'm gonna cut this up, I'm gonna put it in there and then show you what that looks like. chopped up a good amount. This is probably close to about one and a half to two pounds of chuck roast. So it's just diced up in like little cubes more or less. And for this preparation, I am going to be slow cooking it, but I'm going to put it on high because I want it ready in a few hours. If you really have the time of day, then let it slow cook on low for like six or seven hours and it'll fall apart amazingly. So some of my favorite herbs are really simple, but I absolutely love thyme and rosemary these are dried from the garden it's just so amazing so i'm gonna layer those on top here and then for me personally i like adding salt or any other spice afterwards because i don't want the heat to really like take away from any of the nutrients and i know everyone has a different amount of salt they like too we're pretty much good to go so i'm just gonna put this right over here so so simple putting the lid on here. And also I meant to say the beef itself has so many juices already in it, especially cause it's cold. So I personally don't have to add any broth to this. It'll naturally make like kind of a really, really thick stew like consistency. And then I'm just going to put this on high and going to go work on some stuff outside. And then I'll be back in a few hours and be ready to eat. Two and a half hours later. That looks so juicy. Look at that fatty part. I'm just gonna probably keep it in here for another 30 minutes and toss around the meat. But look at that natural juice. 
All right, so it's been another hour. I just let it get a little bit more warm, but I turned it into the warm setting instead of the high setting. And it looks pretty amazing. I can take a look in here. And I'm just gonna be serving it up. Like I said, it's already got all that natural juice. I didn't add anything in there. And oh, this is gonna be so great. Adding the juice in here. Really delicious, hearty meal. Okay, this is all served up and ready to go. I just pretty much serve how much I'm gonna eat for a little bit because then you can always serve yourself more and it'll be super warm just from the crock pot. So I'm just putting some Redmond Real Salt all over here, shaking it up, and now we're gonna taste test it. Mm. Good amount of chewy, good amount of tender. The salt and herbs, pretty much all you need. Mm. Okay, so this is great. The only thing, if you just have the time, is to do it for five to six hours on low. And then this meat will just really feel like it's falling apart. Because it is grass fed and finished, it's just gonna take a little bit more effort to really tenderize it. But for a fast meal, just even two and a half, three hours in the crock pot. This is pretty solid. And the broth also is just amazing. You can see a little bit of the fattiness in there. There's so much nourishment in here. Okay guys, it's like 6.30 in the morning. Yesterday you saw a chuck roast process that was really kind of a little bit more rushed and convenient, which was the chuck roast that I cooked on high in the crock pot, but only for about two and a half hours. Today, because I'm really craving that like super pulling apart, like soft, tender chuck roast consistency. I do have more time today, so that's why I'm up early and I'm gonna prep a little bit of chuck roast for lunch, but I'm gonna start slow cooking it now so it definitely has more than like four to five hours in the crock pot. So I'm gonna take you through that process. Yesterday's chuck roast still came out great, so it's still possible to do it that way, but definitely when it's grass fed and finished and if you're kind of putting it on too high of heat and not really able to attend to it, it might come out a little bit more tough so we're gonna do round two but a little bit more of like a low and slow process with the chuck roast so here i got that remaining block this is still about like four pounds or maybe even close to four and a half pounds and i'm gonna put it on the cutting board cut up a few more pieces just working through this chuck roast throughout the week or next week and a half and we'll see how it goes all right, so I cut up those chuck roasts. Something I'm doing different than yesterday is I'm also leaving them in bigger, bigger chunks because if they're smaller, then they're probably gonna be cooked through faster. So this is gonna allow for a lot of the juice to stay in there so it's tender. So definitely big chunks. All right, I just got back from the gym and as soon as I walked in, I could smell the chuck roast super tender. Just like the entire house should be smelling like the roast with a lot of flavor, a lot of juice. So I have a good feeling it's gonna be like nice and slow cooked and tender, just how I planned. I did layer it with herbs before I left to the gym. I came back from the gym. I'm just gonna go shower right now and then I'm gonna prepare an incredible meal with the slow cooked chuck roast. But I am gonna just take a quick taste test right now just to see where it's at right now. Oh, that's nice and sizzling. All that juice, that fat, nice and juicy, the herbs in there. So I just grabbed one piece of the chuck roast. I'm just gonna let that cool off. It's still steaming pretty good. Okay. This needs some salt. Redmond real salt. Right. Let's see. Mmm, that's good. This is really nice right now. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow, that melts in my mouth. Mm. All right, so there you have it. Slow cooked chuck roast. 
literally so many things you can do with this. I'm about to put it in just a bowl with all that broth and enjoy it so much. You can also let it pull apart, shred it up, and put it in quesadillas or burritos or even make like a carne asada with it. It's gonna be good.